He had a detailed chilling plot to murder and rape a young girl and her parents. And investigators say a local man was stopped just short of going through with it. Good evening. I'm Martha Sagowski. And I'm Brett Conley. The FDLE arrested 29 year old Sean Thomas of Longwood, Longwood last night as they say he was preparing to lure a family to a vacant house. Murder the adults and rape and kill their child. Well, she's Bob Keeling joining us live right now. And Bob, the suspect planned to videotape his sexual assault on this child. Why? Yeah, Martha, agents say he actually planned to later sell it online as child pornography. You know, the charges in here read like a horror film. Only here inside this house, in a room with the floor lined with plastic, agents say that Thomas planned to videotape some of this plan. You're also charged with an attempted sexual assault on a person under the age of 12 years old. The severity of the dozen felonies 29 year old Sean Thomas is charged with even made the suspect shake his head. Six days ago, agents say he lured two men and a nine year old girl to this vacant Longwood house on the pretense of shooting a student film. But when one adult went inside and saw a plastic sheet on the floor, he got suspicious and would not bring the child inside with the nervous young man. It is a very much a safer place because this individual is in jail at this moment in time. That's really scary. Neighbor Susan Jarris says she saw people outside this house. Parents with some of them with children. And uh, when I heard about this this morning, it's a, like a real shock right here next door to my house. Investigators say they have a recording of Thomas saying he was confident once he executed his plan to kill the parents and rape and murder their child, quote, it would get easier and he wouldn't be able to stop. The sad thing is, he's a smart guy. For the last month, Tony DeRosa rented a room to Sean Thomas. What really scares me is there have been a couple times before, before I found out all this, that I've left my two kids with him for about half hour, 45 minutes while I walk to the store because it's raining out. Now he says that fear in the neighborhood has turned to rage. Everyone was like, are you kidding? Now, agents say they strongly believe Thomas at some point would have pulled off this plan had he had the opportunity. He's now being held here in Seminole County without bond. And agents also want to know, they believe that there were other parents and children who came in contact with him. And if you did, they would like to hear from you. Reporting live in Seminole County, Bob Keeling, West 2 News.